like I don't have a partner Sometimes I feel like my only friend Is the city I live in The city of angels Lonely as I am Together we cry The bungee jumper leaps off a tall structure and then falls vertically downward until the elastic bungee cord slows his descent to a stop before pulling him back up. The jumper oscillates up and down until the energy dissipates. Oh no, wait, 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 wait! After ABS this video, media did demo. you think about how good of a prank that was? I think you guys sure did. But maybe one of you thought about the tension, the momentum, the impulse, ABS and all types media of energy demo. going on in this scenario. This is ABS a diagram media for a bungee jump problem. Capital M represents the jumper's mass. Lowercase m represents the bungee cord's mass. Number one represents the initial position. AVS the media R is demo. a small bend which can be ignored. L is the length of the cord, but since it is bent evenly, both sides equal to one half. This AVS diagram shows the scenario demo. right after the jump. The position of the jumper and the cord is set as a function of y relative to the origin. The velocity and acceleration are one half of their value. AVS at the bottom media of the demo. Because we can ignore air resistance and friction, we know that we can analyze the problem using conservation of energy in the system. For ABS convenience, media we will set a variable for the density of the cord as p, which equals the mass of the cord divided by the length of the cord. This ABS is the equation media for demo. energy conservation. T1 equals the kinetic energy at position 1, which is 0 because the jumper starts at rest. V1 ABS is the gravitational media potential demo. energy at position 1. V1 is the weight of the jumper times the vertical position, which is negative L over 4. AVS T2 media and demo. V2 are displayed in the following AVS These are the equations demo. for T2 and V2. As you can see, they are quite simple. Now we AVS can plug all of the demo. equations back into the original equation to solve for velocity. This is our final result. AVS Next, media we will be demo. utilizing impulse and momentum in order to solve for acceleration. We first isolate part of the system using control volume, CV. This will help ABS us determine acceleration demo. of the bungee jumper. At the lowest point of the bend, the bungee cord's tension is horizontal. The vertical component at this point ABS is assumed to be relatively demo. small. Since only vertical forces acting on the system will affect acceleration, we do not have to solve for tension, which should save a large amount of time. ABS media the vertical demo. force is obviously gravity. We now use calculus to show the change in the two positions. M sub KCV is the mass of the particles in control volume at stage 1. Sum Fy is the sum of the forces in the y direction. D M sub KCV is the change in mass of the particles within the control volume. D sub K D M sub KCV is the mass of the particles which have flowed outside the control volume. DV is the change in vertical velocity. AVS this is the simplified demo. version of the equation. If we simplify the equation once more, utilizing these equations, our equation looks like this. AVS we also know that the derivative demo. of velocity equals acceleration. Substitute this into the previous equation and you get this. Now, AVS with these other demo. equations, we can see that the derivative of the y is equivalent to velocity. Thus, we ABS get that the derivative media demo. of the mass in the control volume is indeed P V over two. The ABS sum of media demo. In the y direction acting on the particles of the control volume is the gravitational force. This is given by this equation. ABS media demo. If we plug all of these equations back into the previous one. We get the following. If ABS we solve for acceleration. Demo. Our equation is this. In order, to, in order to get an expression for A in terms of Y, 
AVS Media Demo. For convenience, set mu equal to lowercase m divided by uppercase m. AVS Media so, Demo. So your final equation can be this. Now we AVS will solve for Media the maximum Demo. falling distance. This scenario takes form of an inelastic e collision between the jumper and the cord. In order to calculate the velocity AVS immediately Media after the Demo. cord pulls tightly, one must determine the loss of energy. Once we figure out the velocity, we can determine the maximum falling distance. AVS Media Demo. In this diagram, L is the unstretched length of the cord, lowercase s is the length of is the length the cord has stretched. AVS Media Demo. G is the center mass of the bungee cord, and K is the spring contents of the bungee cord, which behaves like a linear elastic spring. AVS the Media Demo. Distance is the lowest point in in the fall, in which the velocity is zero. The kinetic energy in this point is also zero. Oh no. AVS I think Media it's Demo. Energy conservation equation coming. Oh well, I suppose we can do more. You know, a little bit more work. I mean, AVS Media Demo. T1 equals zero. V1 equals negative mgl over four. T2 also equals zero. AVS Media and V2 Demo. V2 equals that equation. Yeah. The last term in the equation is the potential energy of the cord. Now that we have AVS all Media data, Demo, we may solve for the maximum falling distance. AVS Media part Demo. Two. And now we're on to the fascinating world of shock absorbers. We had a guest speaker explain them for us. So, give AVS them a Media. In the past, all vehicles, any vehicle, whether it's a stagecoach or a train or whatever, had to have springs. The purpose of a spring was when the wheel hit something uneven, it stopped the people inside the vehicle being hit by a sudden shock. But the problem with springs is that they don't just absorb that shock, they produce what's called an oscillation. And the oscillation means that the uh, vehicle goes up and down and up and down and up and down in a very unpleasant way and for quite a long time. So you can imagine traveling in a stagecoach wasn't very pleasant on a rough road, and it made people sick. In the 20th century, with the speeds increasing, it was necessary to devise something which would stop this oscillation occurring. The oscillation was the dangerous thing. So, what they did is they produced a thing called a shock absorber, which damped the oscillation. In other words, it would oscillate, and then very soon it would come back to its original position. So the vehicle would jump up when it hit a bump, and then it would rock back and then come to a stop. And if it was a level road with just one bump, after less than a second, it would be traveling normally again. To do this, the shock absorber is constructed in this way. Basically, it's a cylinder here, an empty cylinder, filled with oil. The piston at the bottom, when some shock hits it, the piston moves upwards into this space pushing oil out into a reservoir. When the, uh, when the force is released, the oil returns to the reservoir, but quite slowly. So instead of suddenly going up and down, this reduces the tendency, this stores the energy that has been produced by hitting whatever bump you hit, and it stores that energy and releases it gradually. So it means that the oscillation is now a damped oscillation. It in fact stops this continuous oscillation which was so difficult in the past. So on all of the vehicles you will travel on, whether it's a rail, uh, a train, whether it's a coach or whether it's a bus or a car, there will always be a shock absorber 
on each wheel and that shock absorber will make your journey very much more pleasant.